For hours, we could hear the explosions around 10 kilometers away in Israel. It was the biggest Israeli raid into the Gaza Strip so far in this war. The army released this video. It said of the battlefield being prepared, presumably for the invasion of Gaza that the government says is coming. The soldiers pulled back into Israel sometime before dawn. In Khan Yunis, in southern Gaza, more raids and death in a place where Israel told Palestinians to go to be safe. We want to live beautiful lives, said Ragged. Not have rockets hitting our heads. The building fell on our heads. The UN says nowhere is safe in Gaza. And the siege violates the laws of war. Israel has killed thousands of Palestinian civilians. Just a few miles away in Israel, Sally Partouche lives in one of the communities Hamas attacked. This is me. This is one of my friend Gil Boyum, and he was murdered. I, I'm all the time thinking how they, what they did to them, how they suffered. With so much loss, whole families, she is furious that Israel's response is being questioned. This time we realize that after that it's us or them. If it is, as you say, us or them, is it okay to ignore international humanitarian law? I'm tired of it, of what the, 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 the law, the international law said. The international law didn't prevent these murders, this, this brutal murder. Where was the world? People was happy about it. Along the Gaza border, civilian volunteers are bringing home comforts to the troops. The soldiers' commanders say they're ready and that it's a waiting game until the war cabinet orders them into Gaza. The men I spoke to were certain that Israel's actions since Hamas attacked were legal, morally justified and vital for the security of their families. Most of the soldiers here were reservists, called out of civilian life. You said you're a social worker. Yes. You must deal with people with trauma. How long yes. will it take Israelis to process this national trauma, I if ever? Generations. I think something broken here. We want to protect. We don't want to fight. We don't want to, to kill. Uh, but if we need to do it, so we, here we are. Here we are. Who you want to side with? People that are, are, are like you? We are the same. We have the same values of freedom, free speech, women rights, LGBTQ rights. Ahead is complex urban warfare. When might depend on the success or failure of talks to free the hostages. Israelis get behind their soldiers, especially at times like this. Almost everybody has been in the military or has a son or a daughter in uniform. It's a different thing when it comes to politicians. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu makes carefully choreographed appearances, but he avoids his many political enemies who say he left Israel vulnerable to Hamas. Israelis, though, are united in their fight against Hamas, but their country faces big challenges, and their leader is under crushing pressure. Jeremy Bowen.